Yo, what's up guys, it's Doomx here and I'm back with a brand new video. In today's video, I wanted to showcase my Pendle Magician deck profile that I got to Diamond 1 with in Season 14 of Master Duel. Uh, I think this has been the toughest season so far, so I I finally made it to that Diamond 1 uh, after like 25 days or 24 days or whatever. So yeah, I just wanted to showcase you guys this uh, new deck that I built. But first, I wanted to show you guys that this deck is really good. Because my win streak right now is currently 5. But before that, I was just like completely killing it with this deck. Because as you guys can see, I was winning like 5 games in a row right here. I lost 1 right here in Diamond 2. But then I was winning again, had a 3 game win streak and like diamond three um then i lost one here then had another three game win streak here i lost another one and then a bunch of wins here which is like six or seven probably so yeah um the stack is really good so yeah uh let's just show you guys the stack list right now so for the main deck uh let's start off with the panel monster so uh one time gazer magician this is for the chronograph sorcerer in the main deck also because you can pop this card special summon this for free so pretty standard right there uh one perform pal pendulum sorcerer i play this just for a dual alliance target um but it's also it also comes up as like a searcher for a uh, skull Corvette joker which is also pretty good and it destroys our scales like double iris magician which you want to destroy it during your first turn to search like star panel graph or timing panel graph uh, star panel graph gets you the searches that you need for your scales and whatever you just need if you uh, are harmonizing to your hand you can get that to your hand so i think that's really good and then i play the three copies of wisdom my magician this card is really good because it can search any of your scales and then it just puts this into the extra deck uh, for later that, that you can uh, Penum Summon, which is pretty good. Then uh, three Skull Crobat Jokers. This is the Stratos of the deck. It searches any of your um, scales except for Abyss uh, Actor, Current Razor, and the Sorcerers. But yeah, it's a good card because it searches out pretty much anything you need. Um, basically, just search out like Wisdom Eye if you need that or Harmonizing Magician if you're uh, looking to combo. And speaking of Harmonizing, you uh, play three of this now because it's at three in Master Duel for some reason. it's It was at two before, but now it's at three. Uh, this card is really good also because when it's Penum Summoned, uh, you can special summon any of your magician's monsters from your main deck to your field. So, um, before I used to like summoning an uh, Oak Dragon, but nowadays I just like to just go for full combo and uh, just spe special summon out any of my other magicians because if I go for Oak Dragon, then uh, obviously I'm going to be making Barone, but my combo isn't going to be polished if that makes sense but yeah um i'll show you guys a combo video later um next up i played the two copies of double iris magician i know this card is at three but i just figured that i never really needed three so why why play three if i can just if two is two isn't broken at all so yeah, uh, this card searches out your star pound graph and your time pound graph, which I mentioned before. Uh, so yeah, this card is really uh, necessary in the deck. Um, for some reason, this card was banned. I don't really know why. Uh, in the TCG, at least. But uh, yeah, uh, I, give, I guess it was broken because of Electromite. But nowadays, it's probably not as broken as before. So next up, I'm playing the three copies of Black Fang Magician. I like three of this because it comes up going second. You can pop this card like three times in one game and just keep special summoning out monsters from your graveyard, which is really good. Also, it has the attack of some cards. 
And that comes up if you're like, uh, if you're playing against like an Appaloosa or something. So yeah, and then I play the one copy of White Wing Magician. Honestly, this card is probably something that you can take out of the deck, but I kind of like it because in the scale, it it acts as like a protection for your Magician monsters or your Spellcaster monsters. So uh, when your opponent targets one of your Dark Spellcasters, you can just negate that effect and destroy this card, which is which kind of comes up sometimes if they're like using like. I don't know, impermanence or something. Uh, next I play the three copies of Purple Poison Magician. Again, this card is really good going second. It can break boards really good. Uh, if they make like a Burrow on the Fleur, you can attack over the Burrow on the Fleur. This card gets destroyed, and when it gets destroyed, it pops a card on the field. So automatically that uh, triggers Burrow's effect, which... Uh, they will negate and destroy this card but if they do that they destroy the card again and it goes to the graveyard and uh it triggers its effect again which is just so sick you know so yeah um this card is really good at breaking boards just you have to play three of this in my opinion so next i play the three copies of the curtain razor this card is like an extender for the deck if you uh have this card in your hand you can place it in scale and then just uh special summon it out for free uh, so that makes you that that makes you enable to get uh, electromite during your uh, um, before you even pendulum summon, which is uh, pretty good. So, or you can make uh, beyond the pendulum if you uh, open like magician souls or something. Uh, but we uh, we'll talk about these later. Um, next, I play the two copies of Old Dragon Magician. This card. Um, Obviously, I play two of these so that one of them can be like a target for harmonizing, but the other one can be like the, my scale. Uh, when it's my scale, it can add me back a magician monster from my uh, extra deck to my hand. So it recycles my magician scales, which is really good. Uh, next, I play the one copy of Corona God Sorcerer. I, I figured that I need this card because it's really good at uh extending my board and one copy of astro gas sorcerer obviously this is a mandatory card um when this one uh monster is destroyed you can just special summon this out for free and add that card uh to your hand again from your deck so yeah uh for the other monsters tuning magician well, while this card is in your graveyard, you can, uh, or if it's in your hand, you can special summon it out. If you control two magician scales, so it acts like an extender, but I don't use it as as an extender mostly. Mostly, I uh, use it to make Broiled Savage Dragon, which is in my extra deck. Using this card plus Astrograph, I can do that. But if I'm really desperate, I'll use this as an extender to make Beyond the Pendulum Magician in my extra deck. So I think it comes up sometimes as as that for uh, Beyond the Pendulum. But most of the time I am making Portal of Savage with this card. And I'm able to send this card to the graveyard using my Time Star Magician's effect, which, uh, um, which comes up... A lot of the times in most games actually so yeah then i'm playing the one copy of magician souls i i kept this card in because um you can search it with um time star magician um which is really good and then uh for the last uh monster or whatever um i'm playing the sage de fleur this card is searchable with time star magicians which is really good and it synergizes really well with the Time Storm Edition actually because um, this card you need to destroy one of your um, Pendulum monsters to, in order to summon it and then you need to destroy another card. So what I like to do is destroy one of my Pendulum monsters when in my um, well while I have Time Storm Edition I'll destroy one of my monsters then I'll destroy one of my scales but then Time Storm Edition will say no and protect my scales from being destroyed then i can send tuning magician to my graveyard and then get this card for free out which is a level eight which uh works perfectly to make a uh 
Full Parbiter Dragon using Starving Venom Dragon, which is my deck, sure deck as well. So the last cards, last monster cards actually are uh, Triple Ash because I think um, Maxi is the most problematic card for this deck, and I figure that Ash is the best card to deal with uh, Maxi. And then the last monster is a Maxi for myself. Um, I figured that I need to play Maxi to beat Maxi also, so that's why it's in here. But I wouldn't play this card uh, normally because I I like I like uh, having mostly my skills in my hand. If this card is in my hand while I'm going first, it kind of sucks because um, I can't really do my full combo actually. So yeah. Um, that's it for the monsters. For the spells, I'm playing the Double Duelist Alliance. This card can search out any of your Penelum monsters, so it, or Penelum cards, sorry. So you can search out um, Perform Pal Penelum Sorcerer, Double Iris Magician, or your Penelum Graphs. So Star Penelum Graph or Time Penelum Graph. So yeah, um, playing one Star Penelum Graph and uh, one Time Penelum Graph. These are obviously the most uh, mandatory spells and traps that you can play in this deck because uh, this one searches out your magician's monsters and then this card can uh, destroy stuff which is really good and then two copies of call by the grave because again maxi is a really problematic card so you want to end that as soon as possible so yeah that's it for the main deck uh, now uh, for the extra deck I'm playing one copy of Supreme King Dragon Star and Venom. Uh, this card still comes up. I think you still need to play it because uh, if they negate uh, Electromite, you can still uh, get the effect off by using Star and Venom Dragon's effect to pop your monsters. But also, it comes up because um, you can make Hope Harbinger Dragon, which is really good, which is another negate that you can make in this deck. So, yeah. Um, Next, I play the one copy of Borlo Savage Dragon. I go into this a lot, um, but only if I can do the combo that I want, and only if I can actually send the Team Magician to my graveyard. That's the only time I make the Borlo Savage Dragon is when I have the Tuning Magician in the graveyard and Astrograph on the field. So yeah, and uh, one copy of Barone. I I do still make this card, but. Uh, mostly I try to go for my other combo which is like Savage Dragon, Hope Harbinger Dragon, uh, Time Star Magician on the field and Appaloosa on the field. But yeah, um, still play this card because it still is good at dodging Nibiru from destroying your field. So yeah, uh, that's why it's still here but it, it, it synergizes really well with your deck as well because uh, once per turn, you can destroy one of your scales, or if you're going second, you can destroy one of your opponent's cards, which is really good. And it acts as a Omni Negate, so yeah. Uh, next, I play the one copy of Time Storm Edition. Obviously, pretty standard. This card uh, usually you want to search out like Astrograph, Chronograph, Magician Souls, or Sage de Fleur, or Skull Corvette Joker. Um, but it does uh it does depend what you need like if you need a harmonizing magician in your hand you can add that as well or black fang you can add as well or purple poison you can add any of your dark spellcasters pretty much but the main ones are these four so yeah uh the next card is baguska i don't really make this card as much as i'd like to but it comes up when it comes up um, that's basically all I'm going to say about that. I don't usually make this card when I'm getting max seed because I don't think it's worth it because, um, most decks can actually deal with Baguska, which is why I don't really make it, uh, when I'm getting max seed. I'll usually just, um, if I get max seed and I don't get, have an Ash in my hand or Call by the Grave in my hand, I'll probably just pen summon someone out everything and just leave that as my wall of defense. And just leave it at that because I don't want them to draw another card off of uh, taking the maxi challenge. So yeah. Uh, the next cards I'm playing are this Raiders Knight and Arc Rebellion package. I kept this in because it is a good way to OTKing your opponent. Um, 
I, I figure that not a lot of people are playing this package, but I think it's still really good to play because in sp in the sprite matchup, they can't really do anything about this when you uh, had this on the field because once they uh, IP Max Granad, their uh, their combo, I mean, all their negates are pretty much done, and then you can pretty much OTK them from there. And a lot of other decks are, would, would also get OTK'd also by this card, so that's why I think it's really good. And then the Hope Harbinger Dragon, because, uh, like I said before, you can make this card using uh, Supreme King Dragon, Starving Venom, and Sajd of Glur. And it acts as a negate for your deck. Also, if you have Abaluz on the field, you can uh, make, it, make your opponent target this card as attack, so really good at that in that sense as well uh for the link monsters i'm playing one copy of uh Electromite. obviously this is a uh, really broken card it's really standard you're possibly going to be sending your astrograph to uh, the extra deck so that you can uh, add it back to your hand using its effect to special summon it and add another card and then draw a card which is really good then uh, one copy of uh, beyond the pendulum because it it's uh, pretty similar to uh, Electromite, except it adds any of your scales to your hand instead of your extra deck. Uh, so you can search out anything that you need. So sometimes you can actually make um, Electromite first if you open like Curtain Razor plus any of your Magician Monsters. And then you can um, place Astrograph in your um, extra deck, pop a monster, special summon Astrograph. Then make a Beyond the Pendulum to search out whatever else you need. And then you pretty much have full skills from there. So next I play the one copy of IP Mascarena. Uh, this card comes up because you can make an indestructible Avermax, which is really good. It comes up against the, um, the Sky Strike matchup, which is really good. One copy of Selene because you can still do Selene access code or Selene into Appaloosa, which is really good. Uh, Appaloosa is really good for negates and uh, access code talker is really good for LTKing your opponent. So yeah, that's it for the deck list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you did and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.